In this video, we are going to learn how to access and interpret the similarity report that is generated when a student submits an assignment uh, where the folder in a folder where Turnitin is enabled. So in order to do that, we're going to go to our assignment tool and we're going to pick an assignment where Turnitin has been enabled. For example, in this Turnitin folder right here, we see Turnitin has been enabled. So it's a Turnitin sample. And here we see there are two submissions. Creed has submitted something and then Ryan has submitted something. And it flags it because Ryan submitted it second and Creed submitted it first. So when Creed submitted it, it was fine, but then Ryan ended up submitting the same thing. So that's why we're getting the 100%. So you'll, we'll see that in a second. So when we go to view the similarity report, uh, we'll see here the heading is turn it in similarity report. We just click on that bar and it takes us to this feedback studio and you can see what Creed has submitted. So if we go to Ryan's, we will see that he basically submitted the same thing. So we know that it was a 100% match overview. All right, so what Turnitin does, it just doesn't check for plagiarism so much, but it does check against uh, all of its sources. So anything that's been submitted or any websites or anything else that they have as a source, and they will identify parts that are the same or similar. So it's normal for things to be little parts of things to be the same, but for something, a situation like this, we know that it's identical. All right. So all of this, it's identifying as copied or identical to something else that has been submitted. Okay. So you can see over here, we have all the layers. You can turn on similarity. There's um, flags for review. So where you can flag things, um, if there's anything that's detected, it will flag it for you for review. You can see the sources. So this is the source that has been submitted already that it is kind of looking at to say that it's matched against. So any sources that it's matching will appear here. We can download the original source here or download the, the current view, digital receipt or originally submitted file. And then uh, there's more information here. Okay. So if you want to have more detail on this originality report and what it contains, uh, or similarity report, pardon me, just go to the link that's provided in this lesson. It takes you to the Turnitin website and it will uh, give you a much more detailed breakdown about everything you'll see here and what's available in this report. So this video is just on how to access it and just some basics about what it looks like.